Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to do the last update for 50 shades of yellow slash gold and yeah yeah I know the finale should be in April but we're also having the intro in April so I thought I will do the finale next month which means that this is the last update and I'm really going to try to focus on this project for the upcoming month and just use these products as much as possible. I have brought everything here that I haven't used up yet or met my goal on so that we can have a look at where we're at. So let's start at the top. I have a shampoo and conditioner from Love, Beauty and Planet. I have them upside down here because that's how I store them. I don't love the packaging of these because it's pretty hard to get the product out actually. Uh, it wasn't that hard in the beginning but you know we're just halfway and I feel like I have to press so hard for product to come out. So I don't like that aspect of it. However, I do like the product in itself. It's nice, it's good, it smells pretty good. I hate the deodorant in this scent, but when it comes to shampoo, conditioner, uh, body wash, I feel like it's a much better scent or maybe the scent is the same, but it's better suited for those products. I just don't like it in my armpits. So I am, like I said, I would say halfway but this one I've actually got maybe a third left of and this one I think I'm halfway through and maybe that's just simply because I don't always use a conditioner or I've used other conditioners have I oh yeah I know that I used a mask a hair mask and you shouldn't use like a conditioner with that mask so you just had to use shampoo so that's why this is lower so let's see if i can actually finish these in one month or maybe i can stretch it a little bit and have like one and a half months use on it or something i have three more things for my hair and let's start with this this is the sea salt spray from antonio aksu i've been working on this for two years guys i have worked on this diligently i've loved it i love the scent i love how it sprays and you know what it does to my hair. I really, really enjoyed it. I had just a little bit left, but I couldn't get it out in a good way. So I poured it over into another sea salt spray and I have used some of that spray up. So I'm considering this an empty. Then we have this one. This is from Dr. Papa and it's called a does it all seven in one hair treatment styler with natural Papa. I thought Papa was a name of the brand. I, I didn't think it actually had a meaning. So do you know what Papa is? Hmm, I haven't noticed that before. Anyway, I'm down to about here. So I have used a respectable amount. I didn't know if I would be able to finish this in one year and um, I don't think I will, but it has been nice. But I realized that this one I use in the exact same way as I would use this one and I brought this one in as well. This is the gold 10 in 1 75 mils and uh, yeah they are used in the exact same way on wet hair or towel dried hair and then you can just style the hair however you want. You don't have to style it you can just brush it through and let it air dry. So needless to say I don't think I will go through this. I haven't even opened this yet I think. Have I used it? I've actually used it twice. Okay, I have used it. <laughs> I have used it twice, but these are just competing with each other. So I will not use this one for the upcoming month. I will try to use this one after every shower if I remember, but I don't honestly think that I will be finished with this in one or even two months. I just don't think so. I don't know what I was thinking bringing both of these in. Like I should have read what it was first. Or maybe I was a little bit bold because I had finished like a mini one that was kind of like this. So I was like, oh, I can use this every time I shower. But then I just forget. And I think the other one I could use in dry hair or something. I don't know, but of course I can't use both of these up. What was I thinking? <laughs> but maybe I could get pretty close on that one. The next product I wanna show you is an oil cleanser from Makeup Mecca. As you can see, it is an empty. The product was yellow, so you could see it very clearly in the packaging. I, I like this, actually. In the beginning, I felt like the oil was very thick and hard to work with, but if I just used a little bit more water, it it worked well and it took off the makeup as it should and I like having this as a backup if I you know don't remember to use the cleansing butter before heading into the shower or if I take a bath before I shower and then I can use this to take off the makeup afterward um 
so I think it's a very nice product to have. This was my only oil cleanser though that I can just have in the shower. So maybe I will rebuy this one when I place my order at Makeup Makeup. So maybe I should place an order with Makeup Makeup pretty soon because I want to buy the uh, the powder foundations from them as well. I'm just trying to stretch it out and wait with the purchase until I really, really, really need to. So I want to use up the powder foundation that I have already. I want to go through my, um, my other powders to see if any of those could actually work as a foundation. And um, yeah, whenever I place an order, I will probably order more than the essentials. That's why I'm waiting with it because I really don't need anything more now except for this one. But Makeup Mecca is really a good place for me to find base products, foundations, you know, things like that that you don't get in advent calendars. So that one is an empty a gold met. Let's move on to the next product, which is a lip scrub from Revolution. I don't have it here. Like I said, I misplaced it. I don't care because I don't like the product. One part of me is like, just declutter it, just throw it out. Another part of me is like, I can still use it. I don't love using it, but it doesn't do me harm to use it, you know? Um, maybe I should use it on my feet, but it, it leaves kind of like an oily cast after that I don't like, and that is very hard to get off my lips. And I don't know if I want that on my feet. So let's see if I find it and if I can use it up, but oh, I, I, I really don't like that one. Then we have Mitchell and Peach English Growers English Leaves body oil. I'm down to here. I just started using it again. I've used this, I have to check, five times in total, three times this month. And I think all of those three times were this last week, maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, we're down to here in five uses. So if I would use it, say, every other day, I probably could use it up. Maybe. I think so. I think I could use it up in a month. It's not that much, you know? And um, it has a pretty nice scent. It's pretty old though, so I really want to get this out of my collection. So let's hope I can do this in one month. Before we move on to the makeup section, let's talk about the only face mask that I have left. And that's from Comedy. The face mask, yellow paint, purify and glow. I just started using this. I have used it once. I don't think I can use this up in one month. Come to think of it, maybe I would like to have those two months, but I just don't have time in my schedule for another video. Um, so yeah, I will have a finale next time, but hmm, yeah, I don't think I can finish this one. I just don't. One thing that I am pretty sure that I can finish though is this ZZ powder. I have very little left. I don't know if you can see that, but we're down to here. So we only have this little left. I've used it 13 times this month for a total of 44 uses. Like I've shown you before, I have taken out the mesh thing that was here and now we only have this powder. And uh, I really like this one. And this was what I was talking about when mentioning those powder foundations. This has a tint to it. So I could use this as a foundation. It covers just a little bit more. So if I have a very light foundation or maybe a tinted moisturizer, or maybe if I go in with a primer and then this, it will just give me some extra um, coverage and like a, a smooth surface, you know? So as long as I have powders like this in my, in my inventory, I don't really need a powder foundation, I feel like. I feel like this works the same. But I don't actually know if I have any left after that one. So I will have to play around a little bit more with my with my powders. The last empty I have for this month is this. I finished this today. This is my Essence Prime Plus Studio Protecting Plus Skin Perfecting Primer. I really thought I would have been done with this a long time ago, like last month, but it just held on forever and ever, I felt like. But when I look at the tallies, I've used it 34 times in total. That's not that much, you know? But I just thought I would be finished a lot quicker. I feel like I was so far down uh, in my last update. So I thought I would have this for like a week or so and then be done with it. But I was actually able to use this 11 additional times. So yeah, it held on for both shorter and longer than I expected. Like in the beginning, I thought it would take a long time. But then when I got down so quickly in the packaging, I thought it would go very quickly and then it didn't. So yeah, it, it was a, a wild ride. 
However, for some reason, I brought in two more primers here. Maybe I thought I would be able to finish these up because this one, this is from Figs and Rouge, the Hydra Matte Pore Correct Velvet Cream. This is in blush pink. It doesn't have any color, so I don't know why it's called blush pink. But anyway, this is pore filling. So what I used to do was that I, I went in with another primer and then I took a little bit of this and just filled in on my, you know, largest pores. And I used it that way. So I could use two primers at the same time. I forgot it so, so many times. This last month, I think I, I started using this as you know, a standalone primer and use it all over my face. So that's why we can see a little bit of a difference here at least, <laughs> but it's basically full still. How many times have I used this one? I've used this seven times this month, I think, or six for a total of 15 times. Not much in a year, I would say. I quite forgot about it, to be honest. But then I also have another primer. This is from Makeup Mecca. It's their Face Prime Golden Glow. I've only used this once, I think. Yeah, I've used it once and it was nice. So I look forward to using it again. But like I said, I don't really know what I was thinking, thinking I could go through all of these primers because uh, I think I had another primer before that. No, I didn't. I should have been able to go through at least two primers, you know, maybe plus that extra one. So I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't use the other one more. Maybe I had more in other projects. I mean, I know I had primers in other projects, but did I have that many? Well, I, I finished six actually, so maybe it's not that strange. <laughs> okay, okay, it's not that big of a mystery anymore. But that one, I am sure I will not finish. I, like I said, I only used it once. I have three products left and one of them I want to finish. It's this Lip Love from Makeup Mecca in the shade My First. It's a tinted lip balm. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of a jump since the last update, but this is two months. I didn't update you guys on this last month, this project. I have this little left. So should I show it to you? It's pretty, uh, it's kind of melting in there. So <laughs> it's sliding around and stuff. So we don't have much at all left. I think I could finish this, especially since I am using it during nights. And during the nights, I usually go in with a lip balm about three times. And if I do that, because I mean, look at the progress here. That's like once every day or something or once every other day. So if I use this three times every night when I work, I'm not working this week, but I mean, from next week when I start working again, um, if I do that, I think I can finish this in one month or one and a half or whatever. It depends on when the finale is next month, but I think I can finish this. And I really like this shade. It's very, very subtle, but I've talked about it before. So let's move on. I really hope I can finish that one. I have one more thing that I have actually met my goal on. Unfortunately, it's not an empty, but we have from Catrice, this lip tint. This is the ultimate stay water fresh lip tint. And the shade is Stuck With You, 040. So this is very, very pink, which is okay for some looks. I could have used it today because I'm going for a pink vibe today. But yeah, I've used it four additional times for a total of 20 times, which was my goal for this project. And the last product I am almost, almost, almost done with. My goal was to use this lipstick 30 times. I've used it 29. <laughs> So this will, for sure, I would say, be an empty until the next update or the finale. This is how it looks. I don't really love this shade on my lips. It looks very brown here. Like, it looks like a normal brown, warmish brown. I have used this a couple of times as a cream bronzer um, for underpainting, but it turns out pretty red. It's weird because on my lips, it's brown. As a swatch, it's brown, but on my foundation, it turns up like a brick red or like a, a brick brown, like a, a brownish red, kind of, which is a little bit weird. I'm wearing it today, but like I said, it's underneath the foundation, so you can't really see that much of it. Um, but yeah, one more use. I'm pretty sure we will be able to do that. So all in all, I don't think that this project will have the best outcome out of all of the projects that I've done, but I have 
some pretty amazing empties. But let's talk about that in the next update, which will also be the finale. I hope you're excited. I hope you enjoyed this video and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye.